Good morning and hi. Today we are going to present a managerial analysis of an organization. In this project paper, we are choosing Touch Lady as our target company and make a deep study structure of the company. The main objective of our, of our task is to understand the structure of the company and to know how they incorporate their company by using the function of management which include planning, organizing, leading and controlling. The company background of Dutch Lady Milk Industry Bahad is a leader in the quality branded dairy business in Malaysia. It was incorporated in 1963 and was the first milk company in, the, in Malaysia to be listed on Busan Malaysia, the local stock exchange in 1968. Its holding company is Royal Freeze Island Cabinet, a Dutch multinational corporation and one of the largest milk companies in the world. Now I would like to present the first function of management which is planning. Vision constantly innovates to further strengthen our position as a leading daily company. The inspiration vision statement completely shows that Dutch Lady Company wants to become market leader in the daily sector. With experienced employees and advanced technology, both are the core value for Dutch Lady Six for innovations for their product. Next, I would like to talk about missions. With a workforce of about 600 strong employees, Dutch Lady Malaysia makes to help Malaysians move forward in life with trust daily nutrition. Dutch Lady Mission Statement has clearly defined who are they and whom they serve. Most importantly, Dutch Lady Mission Statement consists of the nine mission elements. Dutch Lady products are complaints, halal commitment as fulfill Malaysia market requirement. Its mission statement also emphasizes on provide nutrition and vitamin that give healthy life to consumers. Most importantly, we can see that Dutch Lady value their employees from the mission statement. Now I would like to present about Dutch Lady SWOT analysis. SWOT is strength, weakness, opportunities, and trace. Dutch Lady company have three strengths to support a successful outcome. They are high growth rate strong research and development and high profitability and revenue. Dutch Lady has been building its reputation and brand in the Malaysian market through providing a lot of high quality products. The other stress is increase in share price. The share price of Dutch Lady has steadily to increase. Dutch Lady company have two winners to again successful outcome. They are taxes and probability of tax rate for that. Malaysia is stated that a variety of taxes that is goods and service tax GST. Tax rate milk is facing GST and it are a key channels. Tax rate company has three opportunity. They are growing demand real market and more strategy partnership. Dutch Lady company can produce a low-fat milk to grow their demand and Dutch Lady can develop a new market. Dutch Lady company also can increase and find more strategy partnership. And also Dutch Lady have three strengths in Dutch Lady company. They are increasing vegan lifestyle increasing cost and technological problems. Increasing the vegan lifestyle will have a negative effect on the sales of tiny products. Since vegan to some animal products, GST will increase the dust ready products cost, so technological also a trace to the dust ready company. Now I would like to present the second function of management which is organizing. The organization of Dutch Lady Company. Dutch Lady Malaysia is one of the leaders in the quality branded dairy business in Malaysia and it also incorporated in 1963. The Dutch Lady of the products are all halal certified whereby Muslims can consume without worry. 
The organization is aimed to develop um, organizational structure and allocating human resources, ensure that companies' objectives and goals can be achieved. There are three types of organizational structure, such as matrix structure, hierarchical structure, and flag structure. The Dutch Lady Malaysia industry is the largest purchaser of local fresh milk from the veterinary services department. It also supports local industry by substantial of local ingredients such as palm oil and sugar. Okay. Now I will present the third function of management of Dutch Lady which is leading. Leadership uh, and now I will present about the leadership style that used by the three leaders in the Dutch Lady milk industry. The first is Katrina Nyo and the Mahadevan Shivara Makrishnan. The transformational leadership as shown as Mahadevan Shivara Makrishnan and Katrina Nyo. Katrina Nyo is a responsible as Sale manager, sale director, and Mahadevan is responsible as a human resource director in Dutch Lady Milk Industry. Bahad. By follow, by following their company vision and mission, Katrina Nyo and her followers are discovering the alternative way to increase their company revenue instead of advertising the product. For Mahadevan. He is responsible for the group strategic human resource direction on create a culture of a leadership excellence for Dutch lady to become the industry employer of choice. Okay, the second one is Roger van der Heijden. Roger van der Heijden appointed as the operation director of Dutch lady milk industry Bahad. He is using cross-cultural leadership style to leading his followers. This is because Roger is a foreign manager, so he using cross-cultural leadership style is the best choice for him to lead the multiracial followers. One of the strategic plays by the Roger is to aim for the long-term result that than a short-term result. He will always encourage their followers to look further and do some planning for the company future by creating some challenging goals that but the goals will be possible to be achieved. Next one is motivational environment. The appearance of motivational environment is uh, very important to be a big organized company. A professional and manager of the company will create a great motivational environment to the employees to give benefit for the company. First, the manager will create some challenging tasks that will benefit their company to their employees. This is because every employee want to feel their job are very important and useful. The second one is Dutch Lady also hire the great manager to operate every department inside the company. Normally, the employees believe working with a good leader can increase their own productivity. And the third one is Dutch lady also often show appreciation to their own employees. The employees that have a good performance on accomplish the company goal will be giving a reward to appreciate their contribution. This will motivate and encourage the employee to maintain their good performance and also improve their ability while achieving the goals. And the last one is Dutch Lady also trusts their employees to make uh, right decisions to benefit their company. To an extent, Dutch Lady always allow their employees to be creative in their job tasks. And the third part is the controlling it or function of management. So controlling in a corporate have a function of setting performance standards measurement of actual performance, comparison of actual performance and standard, and analysis, deviation, and taking correction action. So, the Dutch lady 
using two types of control. One is concurrent and one is feed forward. The branding, this branding is work as a guideline or a direction when the operation tech hand. This is to provide a standard to compare with when the operation is running. So anything can get wrong will be discovered from the first stage. The company can track it in instance and tune, finding tune it. So the control that takes place while activity is in progress is concurrent control. For the conclusion, Dutch Lady should concentrate on his own company goals to generate more incomes. Dutch Lady also have to improve their weakness to, imp to become a strong corporate company. And lastly, Dutch Lady have a strong parent company that is Royal Free Slash Company that can help in innovation more good product to attract more customers. Thank you.